We're back in the Bronx, checking in on the families. Remember they had rats as big as cats? What has the city done? Have they done anything? We're checking up on all of our stories this week. Monica makes it happen. Things big. Our video went viral of these huge rats invading the homes of families here at the Claremont Consolidated Houses in the Bronx two weeks ago. We're back. Are things better? Doesn't it, takes it amazing? Cameras, it takes news, it takes people exposing their kitchens, it takes all that for we to get help. So we're gonna keep coming back. Jessica De Jesus says a lot of good back. things have happened since we left. NYCHA put in new trash cans, new appliances for families, and got exterminators. But just when we thought we saw all the disgusting rat videos of the past, De Jesus showed us these. Oh my God! These were taken several weeks ago by De Jesus before the exterminators came and NYCHA did their work. Watch as this fat rat like Spider-Man runs into a window climbing the ledge. Then this video where a man with a stick and a water bottle tries to take out this rat hiding under a cable box. The rat eventually gets away. Then there's this video. Take a look at the size of this one. He goes right into a window. No one should ever live with rats in their homes. And so I'm grateful that we have seen improvement. Council member Vanessa Gibson with De Jesus has distributed meals to the families and fought for new appliances in action with NYCHA. And it's working. I haven't seen no rats yet. You haven't seen any rats? I haven't heard them in the walls either. That's huge. That is huge. None of it. De Jesus' three-year-old son, Aiden, here, has helped distribute meals, too. You are making it happen, young man. Yeah. Thank you, Aiden and NYCHA, for stepping up for the families here. Wednesday, a heat hearing at City Hall got ugly. NYCHA bosses were grilled by city leaders again. <laughs> Gotta stop. And Thursday, Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams was on our live Monica Makes It Happen Facebook show. I believe that if we start digging into NYCHA, you're going to find a cash flow that is really questionable. Now back to the Bronx. And if you have a story, reach out to us on Facebook at Monica Morales TV. And Maria with the, the boy. Channel 11 News. 611 News. The resident. Thank you.